Hi, how you doing? Yeah, the first video which I'm sure everyone received, that was about my tools. And the tools are important because without tools you, you can't refurbish machines. You know, e even even your own machines you have on the road, you have to have good good tools. It's good for a screwdriver to have a magnetic tip. I mean all these little things, it just makes life so much easier. And I, you know, I, I would say, you know, forget about tool chests and about shelving and all this stuff, but just on tools, I, I think I've spent easily 15000 at Walmart, and I've had to duplicate tools because obviously I have tools here and I have tools in the van for my machines. Okay, this is the, the first machine that I want to show you. I got this machine probably for about $100, $150. But I, uh, I made it new, I painted it, all the selection tabs were changed. Um, the front here, luckily all I had to do was, was wash it, it was, and, and you know, put a little lubrication on it. Luckily that was okay, because that, I could do it, but it's a little bit of work. Now here on, uh, on the side, well let's do the, the right side first. The right side, it wasn't too bad, but still, it needed a lot of sanding, and and I even had to use the uh, the the uh, what is it called the putty for for the dents in cars because it was really bad. But the other side was so bad, I I gave up sanding it because it, it was just it was just taking up too much time. I mean, I even went down to 60 grain sandpaper, and it was just taking too long. So what I did was for I bought a slab of lot uh, vinyl for 20 bucks and I just stuck the vinyl on it, you know maybe in the future if it's just too bad I'll give it a quick sand and then put on the vinyl paper. Now that pallet jack there uh, I painted and uh, and it looks you know it, it, it's like brand new. That one you know I got part of the deal with the, quite a while ago. Here's the uh, Christmas tree that Alice and Cassandra oh, no. have uh, put together. Cassandra uh, really is super much into the holiday spirit. And with the candles, I mean, this is really all you need. You don't need anything more than this. That's a little uh, celebration, remember? Okay, now here we are, we're in the garage, it's, uh, it's after 5 o'clock p.m. so the, the town isn't around so I can do a little bit of a disaster. Um, <coughs> this is a, uh, a Royal 650, I brought it from another vendor. Um, actually the, the vendor that I bought it from about three years ago, I sold him a, a very small route for 35000 But he's doing very well, I mean he's doing, there's two guys I know business for less than three years and they're doing incredible this is one guy and you know I you know the guy gave me 33,000 a couple of years back so I, I took the machine from it's worth it in a good location you know it's worth it but in the future I, I may just start buying stuff off the road now this machine this is the same one this is a 650 capacity this is a 542 excellent machine but I took it off location the other day because the, uh, the you know it was not, it was under roof but it was outside and it was just it, outside you know the buttons start getting bad so I just took it out and, and the drop sensor something that when the cans hit the drop sensor wasn't working so all the cans were coming out so I switched that yesterday with the machine that I refurbished and this will go to a really good location where there's not a lot of room. Now, this machine right here, this one, I bought it new. You know, I didn't do anything here. It's not a refurbished machine. But, uh, but what I'm gonna do, I, I don't like food machines. I don't like sandwiches. So as you can see down there is the compressor. What I'm gonna do is just take the compressor out or disconnect it and use this as a snack machine. The guy that uh, I sold the route to, he, he, he was actually the one that gave me the idea. You know, vendors, I'll tell you, that's where you get the most ideas from these guys because the, the guys that have companies that sell machines, they want to keep you as stupid as you can be 
and selling machines anywhere from 1500 to, to 4000 so, you know, the other vendors, obviously, we don't like that. So we, you know, in, in a way, we try to help each other out. And uh, anyhow, the, the second guy that, that's been in the business for less than two years is doing phenomenally well. It's a guy, uh, he's, uh, he's a Dominican guy. And basically, you know, I've worked with him for about two weeks, and then we cut things off for a while. Now I'm talking to him again, but he's a very smart guy. I mean. He's, he's done incredibly well, and, and to be honest, I've learned a lot about negotiating with him. This machine is, uh, I bought it for 375 I didn't refurbish it. It was practically, uh, in, you know, perfect. I mean, I, I just really didn't have to do anything. And I got a location on Monday. I'll be bringing the machine in. And, and I would say I would say this machine is, is easily a uh, fifteen sixteen hundred dollar from from a uh, vending machine company. Now this machine here, this one I'm a little proud of. This one I refurbished, I painted it, I uh, I changed the buttons, I ch made sure all the sold out switches were working. Um, I have a lock up there in case I need it. But you know, I'm getting I'm getting pretty good and finally I found a paint that is fantastic. And even you know, even in the inside I cleaned it up. The compressor I'm gonna be putting one in that, that I you know I've done myself. This is the compressor that I've done myself. You know what well, this third video will be on compressors, but you know I like doing a good job. I put foam around all the tubes to keep the cold in. And also, in case it vibrates and it's hitting some metal, it doesn't open up a hole. Okay, uh, Cass? Cass, get up. Okay, now this machine right here, I just got a recycling place uh, uh, from, from a Cuban couple, a young couple, really nice people. Um, this machine, you know, obviously it hasn't been refurbished, but I bought it for 200 bucks. It's a multi price machine. And the vending companies, they sell this for about $1,500. Obviously, i got to refurbish this one. This one right here, this one, is, if you want to come in the front, cast. This one right here, th this i got to straighten out, but that's, that's no big deal. This one right here, I bought it for 100 bucks, 120 I think it was. And it didn't have a hole for a bill acceptor, so I had to cut that out, change the buttons, painted it, and you know, it, you know, it doesn't look good, but I could use it, and it cost me a hundred bucks. I could pay off the machine in less than a month, and you know, that's almost unheard of. And by the way, I have quite a few refurbished machines already making money. Now, this machine, where uh, Dallas gave me some company, uh, the bill acceptor is inside. They said it had a couple of problems, but this is a Dixie Narco. I know everything about it. And this one I bought for a hundred bucks. You know, this one I'm going to paint. You know, I don't even know if I have to change the buttons, but they're three bucks each. Maybe I should change the buttons. It'll look like brand new. And then this is where the bill acceptor goes. This is where the coins go up here. Hundred bucks. So this one's a hundred. That one was one twenty. The one back there was two hundred. Plus I got the location. I put my own machine. This one here, 375. This one was the best of all. I mean, I haven't, didn't have to do any work for it. And right, I'm, I'm setting the prices now, putting in the labels. On Monday, I have a location, which I got through a locator. But I don't know, I don't know if that guy is going to work with me anymore. Well, we'll see. This one I refurbished. Okay, so now you know. Let Let's talk about the uh, the trailer. Let's come this way, guys. Ten minutes. Okay. No, okay. it's over. Okay, 10 minutes? Yeah, okay. make an, we're going to make a separate video on the trailer, so make sure you tune in. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, yeah.